and a 9.4.1. Too many dots, too many numbers. Today we're going to talk about the different kinds of formats that you can use for Dolby Atmos. I'm sitting in a room with 7.1.4 currently. So 7.1.4 refers to 7 speakers on the listening plane, dot one is however many subwoofers you have to fill the room. Currently behind me I have two, but I still refer to it as a dot one. The dot four refers to the speakers above me, and that's going to help with giving the imaging of what's going on in the immersive format. The other kinds of formats that you'll hear about are a 7.2.4 or a 7.3.4. That's just referring to how many subs they have, but you don't have to say it in that kind of verbiage. You can just say a 7.1.4. If you're doing bass management or you're doing LFE, it doesn't really matter when you're describing the room. It's just known that a dot one is going to refer to your low end. In a 9.1.4 room, what you're referring to is now you have nine speakers on the lower plane, where you're adding two speakers in between the LCR and your side speakers. And that refers to your wides. The reason you would want a 9.1.4 room is because having those two wide speakers really helps define your image in the front, which is going to be a very vital part of your imaging. Other formats you may hear about are a 9.1.6 or an 11.1.6. These are for incredibly large rooms, and this really is dictated by the size of your room. You need to fill your space with sound. So if you're going to be doing a 9.1.6 in a small room, you're really not doing yourself any favors because you've got the speakers so close that you're hearing more detail, but it's unnecessary. So if you're in a very large room using the Dolby Dart, which Josh will discuss later, is the best method to determining how many speakers you should have in your room. 